didn't see you there. It's Curry, your WI Linus, with another fun video. It's been a while since we've been in this background, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a video here. It's one of my favorite spots, so why not? So the topic in this video is first you performance and basically like who your character is, your character identity, I guess. So this was given to me by one of my really good friends. I'll make sure to post their uh, Twitter right here on the chalkboard for all of you lovely people to go check out. We were having a text message conversation where they let me know that they, um, of course, we're both looking forward to when we can go to Anthrocon again, but they were telling me that they um, were kind of jealous when we went to Anthrocon in 2019 because people were stopping me and asking for pictures and hugs and, and you know, they knew who I was. And it was kind of frustrating to them considering it was my very first Anthrocon. I think it was like their third or fourth Anthrocon. So it got me thinking about how I portray my characters versus how they portray their characters. And there's honestly nothing wrong. You can portray your characters however you want. How I portray Kyrie is different than how I portray Gus. How I portray Gus is different than how, how I portray Sanford. How I portray Sanford is different than Me Too's performance. And Me Too is different than Ouija. So everybody is different. And that is 100% okay. You know, Sanford is super shy. Gus is, you know, kind of in your face. He's kind of like that backyard bully. Kyrie is super cute and wants hugs. You know, Me Too is chirpy and curious. So it just got me thinking that, um, and then of course I, I went back to the Anthrocon footage and was looking back at it, that I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that I just kind of become super bubbly and outgoing when I'm in my fursuit and I really like, you know, go that extra mile, but that essentially is who Kyrie is. She is, you know, super, you know, bubbly and out of the box. Um, Kyrie is actually different than who I am when I take my fursuit off. Believe me, if I could be Kyrie all the time, I would love to be Kyrie all the time. It also got me thinking about social media. And um, while they do have social media, they don't tend to post as regularly as I do. Um, I know that Instagram is my favorite. I use Instagram a ton. I have a Twitter that I've been trying to get more active on. And then obviously YouTube where you're watching this video. Uh, so, and I'm not saying that my friend needs to start a YouTube channel. I'm not saying he needs to start an Instagram. I'm not saying post more photos. I just, I don't really know what, like, how you become, you know, like what you're, you know, how he basically creates an environment so people come up to him. Um, he blamed it on the fact that his fursuit is um, a very neutral color palette. Uh, I don't think that has anything to do with it because I've seen um, other fursuits with very simple color palettes. So I don't really think it has anything to do with the color palette. I honestly think it is how you portray yourself and that character. Because if Kyrie was to just kind of mope around, you know, who would wanna, who wanna get a picture with that? You know, when I'm in my fursuit and I'm, you know, jumping around and, you know, I'm motioning for a hug. And so I think a lot of it, apart from social media, because I do think that social media nowadays does play a big role in, oh my goodness, there's Kyrie versus, you know, versus, um, you know, maybe when I was growing up when social media wasn't really a thing. So, you know, and then of course, the fact that I make my own suits probably does help. Uh, so I am super active and, you know, if I'm not posting a picture of my suits, I'm posting a picture of what I am making. Um, if you noticed, I have a brand new tie tag on my, um, this fursuit head. Uh, this is Kyrie's specific tie tag. Um, I love being able to give back to the community. And um, if you noticed in the pictures that I posted, I believe to my Instagram, I don't know if they're on my Twitter. If not, I will make sure they're on my Twitter. Um, I have a red one that I made. It was my template. And it right now has no home because I didn't know if it would work or not. So if you are interested in a um, tie tag, hit me up. We can talk about a price and you know shipping and stuff. Um, and you can have a brand new tie tag for your fursuit. But I honestly think that when it comes down to, you know, when we go to a convention, it's 
not necessarily how many conventions you go to, um, the, you know, the color palette of your fursuit. I honestly do believe, you know, it has to do with how you portray yourself in a con space. Um, believe me, I have, um, I've been to quite a few cons now, and I do think it, I mean, I, I do think it helps that social media is a platform that you can get yourself and your, your fursuit and your, who you are out there. But I do think at the end of the day, it is how you portray your character. So I hope this kind of helped. Um, I don't really know how to like give you any tips or tricks. So if you're interested in like a tips or tricks video, um, I'll make sure to, uh, to um, make one. Let me know in the comments below. As always guys, I'm Kyrie, your WI Linus, and I thank you all so very much for clicking on this video and watching it. You guys mean the world to me. So I will see each and every one of you next time. Meow, I mean... <laughs>